Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you again for joining me back on my channel. This is one of the playlists where I love to cook. And uh, so today what I want to make for you guys is, and I've already decided the marinade, I should take the marinade before, is a leg of lamb. As you can see here which I have been marinating for the past two days and uh, I'll post a little bit below on what type of marinade I use but you know to uh, to be honest with you you can use whatever, whatever marinade whatever floats your boat and uh, whatever types types of spices and herbs I've never like made a roasted leg of lamb before and uh, so today I'll be roasting it with some onions and some carrots that I have here. So, and the spice mix that I've used, it's my own mix, and, but it's, it's my own measurements, but it's a famous Somalian spice called Hawash, and even in my language, Hawash means spices but I've used some particular spices. So today I want to show you how I plan on cooking this lamb leg and, and how I plan on roasting it with some onions and some carrots. Unfortunately, I don't have a full-sized oven, but there is a mini oven or toaster oven as they call it. So I will be cooking it or roasting it in there. All right, I hope you, if you like this video, please Give your boy some support and hit me with that like button. Share it to some friends. Um, oh man, I forgot to even tell you where I'm at in this small little hut where I plan on cooking. This small hut is has been in the family for several generations and over the past decades it has been turned from a bedroom into a storage room and now it's on, it's my kitchen slash uh, gardener uh, gardening area or harvesting area and it's been in the family for many uh, generations like I've said and I'm so honored I still hear stories of people who slept here and have visited here and been a part of this room so this room has that amazing sentimental value to me so as we continue, I just wanted to show you this beautiful space. To tell you where I'm exactly at, I am in Sheikh Drighada and at the house of the house that Haji Abdullahi Tibi or Samet Gamgam built, Allah Ya Rahma. And uh, I'm standing in this beautiful space that has seen so many of my family members have either slept here or sat here or enjoyed their time together here and in the background as you can see the cop is you know doing what they do and um, I'm in the farm I'm so happy to be finally home and uh, in the origins in the same house or the same uh, area that my father was born, where most of my family members come from and are still continuing to come from. So I've been just blessed to have this space to myself now and to create amazing uh, things, whether it be gardening or whether it be cooking, and then to provide it to you guys. So if you like this type of content, please hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe if you already haven't. All right, so let's get busy. So here I have the leg of lamb. And it's juices. What I'm going to do is... I have my cooking tray here. And what I've done is I added a sheet of aluminum 
that way. One cheek the other way. And I've added some parchment paper. And another parchment paper on the other side. And I'm going to put my leg lamb get in the middle. I'm going to round it some onions. Let's mix it up. marinade I put some garlic in the, in the spaces of the meat I'm trying to get the onions to go at the bottom so that the carrots have something to rest on Then I'm gonna add this delicious sauce. But first I wanna make sure that I get a nice cooking and steamy roasting. So I'm just gonna pinch to the side. Make sure that the juices don't escape. Now I'm gonna add that sauce on top. I love the smell of garlic. Now I'll do my best to close it up. So now that it's looking wrapped nicely, let's keep pinching the sides, whatever some juice may escape. I 
we go. I'm gonna add some holes to it. So there you have it, my little toaster oven. Now I'm getting ready to pop it in. I have it preheated at 250. There we go. So this is a maybe like two hours in the mini toaster. Now I'm gonna put it on the broiler or grill. Looking good. 